suppose you could call this video a follow-up to the response I did to Wes 964's video on Weatherman Kevin. I wanted to talk some more about bullying and not everything I say here will be news to everyone. I suppose the following is a bit of an attempt to put words to at least how I view bullying. If you studied it, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to tell you anything that you don't already know. So I would say bullying can be motivated by jealousy, um, desire to try to force the target to conform to the group, or a as a means of asserting dominance over someone. If they feel, if the bully feels that their status is being threatened, they might respond by bullying the person to assert their control and to put that person in their place, to use that old adage, I think. I think that bullying is, in its nature, a destructive act, and I do want to clarify that destruction, objectively speaking, Sometimes it is necessary in nature. The idea of nothing should ever be destroyed is naive, frankly. Once again, nature. Nature does destroy other parts of nature to make room for things, to ensure that the balance is intact. There are different kinds of destruction, and not all of them are necessarily bad. It's an act of destruction because, when effective, it forces the target to change their behavior, to leave the, the area, the situation, I suppose those are the possible outcomes, or when it is effective, once again, and I wanted to clarify also the the conformity. Obviously, instinctively, this is from back when we were living in packs, I guess the word is, when we had to survive as a group, when all the males went out to hunt, provided they were capable, when all the women stayed back and, you know, took care of the children. As such, in, in such a situation, there is no room for someone to be an individual. And any group has a leader, and it has 
someone at the bottom, maybe more than one person. And if someone is suddenly behaving in a way that the rest of the group has not agreed upon, if they behave as if they have a different different status, be it lower or higher, they might be bullied by the rest of the group, including the bottom members, because something in our brain tells us that we have to conform. It tells us that we have to behave in the same way, or in the way according to the status that we have in the group, or something bad might happen. And originally, what could happen was that we might all die. One person behaving out of the group's required behavior could mean that they're not strong enough or that they might have to pay special attention to that group member and they might be too slow. However, conformity today is not as necessary. In some situations it can be necessary and in most cases there is conformity in most groups, I would say. This really does go for pretty much, I mean, hippies do have a certain s set of rules in the commune. They might not be said aloud, but there might still be a leader, there might still be specific things you do and don't do, Imagine if someone entered a hippie commune and behaved like someone, you know, from the city. And the result would, of course, be that the hippies would either try, try to make them either conform or leave. And so, yeah. The thing is that not everyone can conform or leave when bullied. You might be in a school environment or a work environment and you might not be allowed to leave. You might not know how to conform. Some of the things are, you know, you might be born with them. It might be just your own culture, be it national or subculture. And thus, that really leaves the... I suppose I didn't mention this before, but... And this is obviously the most destructive potential effect. The last option is that to be destroyed or to destroy oneself. And sometimes in, for example, school environments, this is at least part of what can lead to a school shooting if it gets to be really bad. I should clarify, obviously not everyone who is bullied, even very strongly, is going to eventually kill someone or do some kind of violent act in general, neither towards themselves nor towards anyone else. But, if it really gets to you, you need a supportive environment or 
sometimes it can help to move to a different environment. I can't claim this has ever particularly helped for me. As I mentioned in the other video, I was bullied for most of my school years, and it really stopped when my peers were old enough and mature enough that they didn't really do the pure form of bullying, I suppose you could call it. What children do to each other can be some of the cruelest activities. With maturity and with a healthy childhood and adolescence should come empathy and a realization that actions have consequences, that we are all, we all have to be here, you know, like it or not. So before that happens, it can be fairly out of control. It will obviously be dependent on the environment. I'm I should perhaps clarify that most of my most of the bullying that I was subjected to was psychological, not physical. I was in some fights, but it was mostly psychological. And compared to what I have heard has happened to others, it is not the worst that has happened to anyone. It's also important to note that a cry for conformity is going to go on until It is. It has eliminated the individuality, or as much of the individuality as is perceived could harm the group. It isn't necessary for these to be big differences. and this isn't going to be news to very many people, but a hair, co hair color can be enough. It doesn't have to be anything even remotely outwardly noticeable. It can be the tiniest of things. And the severity of the bullying isn't necessarily going to adhere to how much needs to change, again according to the perception of the group. And it can worsen over time if the desired result is not achieved, if conformity isn't achieved if they if the target does not leave the situation or the group and if they are not physically or psychologically destroyed I wish I had some words about what to do, how to combat bullying, how to effectively get out of such a situation, but I honestly don't. 
maybe you should state in this video also none of this is a cry for sympathy attention none of this is a cry for attention none of this is a plea for sympathy it's partially catharsis and it's partially an attempt to explain to anyone who doesn't already know these things I don't want anyone to mistakenly believe that if they just stick it out it might eventually go away. Okay, sometimes it does, but it won't necessarily. Whether you're the target or someone related to a target, please do not expect it to just automatically go away. One, one thing I have heard is that responding in kind can ended. I haven't had a lot of positive experience with this myself, but and changing the environment isn't necessarily going to help. The problems can just start over in the new place. I suppose that's all for this one.